Hi, this is Aki again from Aki's Garage. Welcome to another video. As you can see, guys, I got Citroen Dispatch here, 2020 1.5 diesel, and this is the actual engine, as you can see, guys. So let's we jump inside the car and uh, we see what's the uh, customer company. I'm inside the car. I just hold the clutch, put the ignition on, and I start it. As you can see, guys, I got add blue sign here, and I got service light, and also I do have a engine management light on as well. And uh, uh, I think I get warning here as well, as you can see, emission fault is starting impossible in 200 miles, so, uh, I think the customer been a uh, few different garages and they keep uh, resetting the ad blue and it comes back again. So what we're going to do today, we're going to delete the ad blue system for good. Let's we start and then uh, we see what we can do with this vehicle. So as you can see guys, uh, my OBD uh, uh, interface is already connect to the vehicle and uh, I got uh, my uh, hotel here as well what I'm going to do I'm gonna uh, switch off the ignition and uh, uh, put the ignition on and then I'm going back to the diagnostic unless uh, we go to the Citroen Yeah, that's a chassis number. Let's we do, well here it's a jumpy, but uh, this car is a, a Citroen uh, Dispatch, but I think exactly same as uh, uh, Citroen Berlingo, same as uh, uh, jumpy. So they're all using exactly same engine. So we're gonna press okay. and I'm going to do full scan and now it's 100% complete so we're going to go to list uh, as you can see we got a few faults on the BSI and uh, Let's go back to the engine. Uh, as you can see, this is the engine issue, and it's not a scan. We just uh, click. Uh, we just click on it, uh, and we need to choose the ECU. Uh, this is the. Uh, I think this is the right ECU. CMM dash MD one CS 3 This is a push ECU. If I go to the ECU information, you can see guys, this is a Bosch ECU. And yeah, so let's we go to the uh, uh, full code. As you can see guys, uh, we got uh, emission control can network. And we got, you see here guys, we got uh, BSI fault as well uh, is uh, can uh, communication uh, with the uh, engine ECU and the uh, actual uh, BSI body control module and also we got AdBlue uh, injector control short so what we need, what we need to do uh, we do need to reset the whole system before uh, we jump to the ECU so I'm going from here I'm going to uh, special function and then uh, we go to the service action from here I go to work on the emission. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to uh, here. I just press okay. Then off the ignition. So the ignition is off as you can see. And then ignition on. I just put the ignition on and then okay. So it's complete. So now I go back to the turbo code and I try to uh, erase the full code 
turn off the ignition and wait turn off the ignition and wait 30 seconds and ignition on again press ok as you can see guys uh, still we got at blue def injector control short to run i think it's something on with the injector so let's we take the diagnostic out as you can see guys so far i don't have any light on it so if i just start the engine you can see guys i don't have any add blue sign nothing the only thing is a, a engine management light so and then as you can see i don't get any sign for the uh, engine noise starting for another 200 miles so this is only full so what we're going to do we're going to switch off the ignition we just take the key out and i'm just switching off that one as well so i'm just going out of the car now back to the engine so what i'm going to do i want to take off the ecu take it to the bench and once i take the bench i can do the rest job over there or i'm going to disconnect the battery and then try to disconnect the ecu Oh well guys, this is the ECU, as you can see this is a Bosch and this is a number MD1CS003. So let's take the ECU to the bench and we try to do the all the wiring pin out and then we try to read the map and uh, delete the AdBlue system. Oh guys, uh, I'm going to use the auto tuner uh, to just uh, read the ECU. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the laptop and uh, we try to see if we can read this ECU. Oh guys, I connect my auto tuner to the laptop and this is the actual ECU. So I'm going to point my camera here. Yeah, that should be good. So from here, we're going to go to auto tuner. Yeah, we're going to go to the ECU. Uh, we're going to go to the search. As you can see guys, this is uh, my ECU number MD1CS003. So I'm going to search here MD1. One CS zero zero three. Just click on it. Now I go to the bench. So we're gonna read the instruction. All right. So let's we go down. This is the actual ECO location. And uh, and this is an adapter we're gonna use, which is which I go here. This is the adapter I'm gonna use, and uh, yeah, and this is a, a wiring pinout. So very easy wiring pinout. So I'm gonna do the wiring pinout. Oh, guys, uh, as you can see, uh, I done all the wiring. Uh, to the ECU and uh, uh, I just put the 12 volt power to the auto tuner so now let's go back to the computer so we're gonna just go back here and then we're gonna go uh, identify so that's good that's all the information so we're gonna read the ECU so we just read the issue normal i'm going to save that one here uh, 
to it soon. Uh, yes, and you go to the Citroen, just open new folder, and uh, delete this. Let's go here and just put OOT. I'll just save it here. As you can see, guys, now it's uh, trying to uh, read all the P flash from the ECU. And uh, yeah. And that's it. So the actual uh, uh, P flash data is. Uh, uh, read uh, successfully. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just uh, disconnect the cable just from here, just for safety. And then I'm going to modify the file, delete the uh, actual, uh, delete the uh, add blue, and then I'll come back. Oh guys, I connect the uh, ECO back to the auto tuner. So I'm going to uh, identify again. All right, so from here we go to write the ECO. And uh, this is the file. Just say yes. Now uploading the data. That's uh, all done. As you can see, guys, ECO has been successfully flashed. So I'm going to uh, just disconnect the power and uh, take off all my uh, wiring pinout and uh, take the actual ECO back to the car and uh, and uh, we see how it goes. Oh guys, uh, I put the ECO back to the car, so now I'm going to just put the battery back. Alright, so now let's we go to the car and we're going to try to do the rest. Alright, I'm back to the car. I'm going to put the ignition on to make sure first you can start the car, the car start, no problem. And as you can see guys, I don't have any engine light, no boring, nothing here. That's very good news. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch off and switch on the ignition back to my diagnostic. Again. So, just go back from here. I'm going to engine unit control, ECU. And that was the actual ECU number. And four coat, as you can see, guys, there is no any four coat. And, uh, and that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope there is some information for someone and look always thank you very much for watching